Hello, this short tutorial is going to give you an introduction to the OneSearch system to search for ebooks, journal articles, and searching the journals A to Z. The first thing to do is go to the University of Cumbria homepage www.cumbria.ac.uk. And from the University of Cumbria homepage, we log in as students. So the link in the top right of the screen. To log in, you use your student email address sstudentnumber at uni.cumbria.ac.uk followed by your university password. So I will log in using my username or my email address. And then my password. And that will take me into the student hub. We can find one search under the My Library link within the Student Hub, and that will open in a new tab for us. OneSearch is one place where you can search for journals A to Z, and then three main tabs. Under Books and More, we'd search things including books, CDs, software, ebooks also. Under Articles and More, all the paid for articles uh, that we pay for at the university, plus conference proceedings and everything, that tab brings those two things together, um, the things from books and more and articles and more, plus anything in the University Research Repository Insight and other free useful online content as well that's openly available. We'll start with a basic search and we'll look for a book. I'm going to search for the search term Alternative Dispute Resolution. Now I can narrow down my search with these two tabs at the top and they've got drop down menus so I might want to search specifically in the title. I'll stick to anywhere in the record and that can turn my query words and just click on search. So that gives me a very broad search. The first thing I want to do is personalize my results. You can see I'm personalized to law and to do that under the top left we personalize results we click on edit and select the area that's relevant so if we click on law it will personalize our results. So I've got 90 results for ebooks with that particular alternative dispute resolution uh, search term. Five of those are available in the library and 87 are full text online. So for you as distance learners, we want to select full text online so you can access ebooks and, and get those from home. We have some other terms down the left hand side where we can refine our search. I'm going to go into those in more detail when we search for articles. So I'll just show you now how to access an ebook to be able to read it. I'll go for the top one in the list, Alternative Dispute Resolution in Civil Justice Systems. It's as easy as clicking on View It. You can see we've got that in two different databases. So we'd open source in new window, and if it doesn't open up automatically, select one of those databases. I've there selected the EBSCO host system and from here we could read the PDF full text and it will just open up in a window for us and we can use the navigation buttons, uh, we can save pages or we can jump to a particular chapter. If I go back I can see I can download this ebook. Now with EBSCO host you don't need to download um, a small piece of software first but you'd be guided to do that from that link there. So you can see accessing ebooks is nice and straightforward. I'm going to go back to the OneSearch tab and this time I'm doing a new search. I'm using the articles and more tab because I'm going to search for a journal article and I'm going to use the advanced search so I can put in more search terms. I'll do my search again for alternative dispute resolution. And you can see it's remembered that earlier on I personalized to law, so it's bringing those law results back first. Now, at the moment, I've got 59,899 results. I might want to narrow that down. So if I put speech marks or quotation marks around that search term and click on search, it should bring that number down brought it down to 55,000 because it's found those three words together as a phrase. I'm going to add a second search term, this time commercial. 
So it'll find the phrase alternative dispute resolution and commercial. If I click on search, again, that's brought the number down to 10,436. So I'm going to use some of those limiters there. The first one to use is we want some peer reviewed journals. We want some good quality things. Um, so we'll go for, for peer reviewed journals. That brings down the number quite a lot. And then earlier with the ebooks, I mentioned refining by date. Now we'll do that here again. Um, that's really important, getting nice up to date things, particularly in law where things change quite a lot. So I'll drag that date range up and click on refine and get things perhaps from the last 10 years. So I'm down to 216 articles now. Other areas I might want to have a look at, I might look under topic, select more options, and I can see all the topics that are related to it. I could click two or three of these different ones if I wanted. I'm just going to cancel that now. I've got other options down here as well. So again, I might select language or search in a particular journal if I wanted. So now would be a good time to have a look in a particular journal article. And again, it tells me I've got full text available and I've got that view it link. So always when you see view it, you know you're going to read an online resource. So click on view it. And you can see we've got this in one database. So one underlined blue link and a little more information here about if you need, if you get prompted to log into a particular page. We're already logged in, so it should take us straight through. But if at any time you're prompted for a login page, you should look for the shibboleth or institutional login. Here it gives us an overview, uh, the abstract of a particular journal. And we can see the PDF there as well. And we've got links there so we can go straight in and read that article. We can print it. We can email it. We can get a particular citation for it as well. So fairly straightforward for accessing journals and journal articles. So a lot of these on here, we've got uh, the green view it article uh, icon there for full text. And if we clicked on this one, you could see we've got it in two or three different databases and the available from gives us how long back um, or how much access we have. So you've got different options. If We scroll a little bit down the page. You can see we've got a citations or cited by button. Something that's cited by gives results for items citing the article and something that has a citations button gives a result list of items citing cited by this article. So if I can follow that link and get some other good quality um, items, journal articles that are, are in the same kind of subject area. I'm going to scroll up now and go back to our OneSearch button. You can see we've got a big OneSearch icon and we can follow that at any point. That takes us back to the OneSearch homepage. The final area I'm going to look at is the journals A to Z. Now this is really useful if you've got a particular citation or um, need to look at um, to see if we hold a particular journal. So the journal I'm going to have a look at is the Dispute Resolution Journal. I'm going to type in the full title of the journal, click on enter, and you can see it's the first one at the top. So I'm going to click on view it. We've got that at EBSCO Business Source Premier. We've got it at Sport Discuss. We've got two or three different options. I'm just going to click that top link there. It's going to open in another tab and you can see the access we have. So however many years, if we were looking for something from say 2007 and issue four, we just follow those links there on the right hand side and it would take us in to see the PDF full text of those particular things. So perhaps I was looking for um, pages 11. I could click on that. And again, it would give us a PDF and, and it take us straight in. Some journals may be slightly different. 
some journal uh, articles may be slightly different. And if you're experiencing any problems at any time accessing RE resources, you can see the help information available at the end of the slides on the tutorial.